Hi everyone, it's Steve from Dora Bubble. Uh, this is my latest DT journal. Um, all the details will be in the comments box below this video. Right, um, it is large, it's seven signatures, there's 112 sides in it all together. And it's held with a beautiful piece of sari silk. It also has Coptic stitching and a little dangly. Right, let's get on. Let's make sure you can see it all first, eh, gang? I think, I think that's better. Right, front cover. We've got a little diamante type of plique. I've also got some trim. The details of where I get these from will also be below in the comments. And I've turned this into a double-sided pocket. Inside front cover, we've got two large pockets, large ATC, an envelope, and a little tag there, and another uh, applique. This page was already decoupage. This was done by... This particular design team, it was their admins that did this. They they all put something in towards it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have to say that I love anything that is collaged. I've also added some bits to that myself. The buttons are on. Um, I've used them as my decoration in this one. I'm very tongue-in-cheek because it's mushrooms. Button mushrooms. I know, I know. Plain paper for any drawing or artistry. Um, this, I've added this to it. And then in the middle of each signature, you're going to get at least four clear pages. Well, not some of them, I've got something on them. But four pages that are dedicated to journaling. This has been added on here. And we've got an envelope, a tag, a plique and some textured um, paper, this textured paper I've had quite a while because I find it quite difficult to cut this properly. So I have to take my time to do it. So I decided on this one I was going to use it. Envelope, me with me washi of course. I added more decoupage onto that. I've got them in there, little button on here as well. Two in here, an envelope, tiny envelope, and a little ATC card, some washi, and I put some punch marks on a few of the pages again, just for added interest. That would be your four pages. Another, I did this one decoupage, and I added the envelope and a little tag. There we go. Uh, most of mine, I have already aged them um, because I don't really do a lot of decorating on these because if you're trying to write on the back and there's loads of decorating, it's going to be all wobbly. So a lot of the time I stay clear of adding anything other than stitching or aging. A little bit of washi there. Two here. And we've got the... ATC and the tag. Can you tell I've already tried to do this one once and failed it miserably. Envelope and another tag. And there's I think there's three of these in it as well. More of the um, textured paper. And a little notebook or notelet as I call them. This has got five, although I've only put one, two, three, four. There is room at that top one for if you wanted to put a letter or anything like that in it. The textured paper again, and I've added a lot of butterflies throughout this. There's a little tag. How are we doing? We okay? That's for art. And then we have the tag and a little, would that be a little tag or a little ATC? And a plique, and obviously I've added that to it. Oh, there we go. 
vacuum. I just love using washing. I just think it lifts so much. A half belly band and uh, an envelope with a tag in it. There's another little um, notelet type thing there. Another one of those. I've kept the tickets as the four um, so that it can be used as another tag. This is the the same material as one of the um, admin team did for her part of this uh, digi kit. And I had the same material. So um, I've added that at front and back and a couple of times in here, I think, as well. well that's the little envelope. Two tags and another envelope there. I just love these. I love them. The only th other thing I've added is the washer. There's a large tag. Oh. Pocket, an envelope and a, a, a tag. A little bit more. Some of them I've left the bar across it, some I've taken it off. Belly band out of the paper that I was talking about that matches the material. And a, a tag. Another small tag there. This is just, um, I, I stole this idea off um, Kelly, Kelly Watson. Um, she comes up with some amazing ideas. Anyway, that's in there. We've got some more of the textured paper and a large ATC. And as you can see, I've left the bar on that one. This is only washi tape, so that if you want to take it off, you can. I wouldn't, but you can if you want to. Love this colour. Love it. You've got an ATC. Uh, sorry, a tag there and a smaller tag there. Um, this is a belly band. Again, you can put your own things in it. And I've added a little bit more of the collage to that. There's some more of that um, material onto an envelope. Another one of them. This is just added into the centre. It's not counted in the sides or anything, that envelope. Another little punch with the bar left on. And this is the other side of that smaller bit. These buttons, by the way, are all vintage. They're all um, 40 plus years old. And so you've got the tag with the buttons, then you've got two smaller tags. That's how I've added some more to that and just a couple of butterflies. Two tags and a side pocket and another little booklet there. Little tag, three in that one, more of my washi tape, I have so much washi tape you really wouldn't believe, another side, little side pocket there, um, another one of the um, collage pieces and again I've just added a few bits to that, it's just to make it my own. Uh, a teeny tiny little tuck spot, a tag, and then you've got the two tags in there as well. Three in that one. A tag and a tag. And then a large ATC, but that's got writing paper on the back of it, that one. I've left that plain. If you like to do something with it, of course you can. You can change everything around in them. And 
a large ATC and then just a, a little bit of uh, punch on that for interest another large ATC and then we're at the inside back cover guys so another large ATC and all this in here is what I have not used myself in this and I always try to add them so that you can use them up so we're on to the back again I'll put the details of where I've got my trims from in the comments below this these are from stash and I've just tried to do um, a vague mushroom shape with them anyway that's the new journal I work very hard on this one, so I'm hoping that you all like it. If you do, please leave a like or a comment would be even better. Stay safe, everybody. Speak soon. Bye for now. Bye.